lord this looks so funny y'all yeah i'm on my old camera and with this camera you don't have to look in the camera you can look at the actual screen so this would be good this would be good so i'm out here parked in front of the dermatologist uh, office because yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get this looked at this is right around the corner for me and it's actually right in the same suite as my gym so i should probably go over to my gym and tell them I, like i said in my last vlog i had suspended it because i can't do anything i'm not gonna be paying 35 dollars and i can't go up in there so the good thing about my gym is that you can suspend temporarily put a hold on your gym membership if you're going through anything medical whatever so that's what i did until july um doing good this is jb's first week uh first and only week of summer boot camp school so this is almost going to be like a little mini school and the reason why i put him through this is just to keep him refreshed and also this bypasses the need to do a kindergarten screening which i'm like why are you going to kindergarten why are you going to do a screening for the babies i get it it's to gauge where they're at i understand that but i'm like girl i think that as long as the children have been going to a preschool that i don't know yeah i don't know i'm not an educator so i shouldn't really speak on that but anyway that's where he's at today and y'all it was so cute he <laughs> while i was getting him ready i was telling him i'm like aren't you excited this is going to be like a, a kindergarten boot camp like a little mini school he's like no not really i said but baby you'll be able to see some of your kids your some of your friends you know some of your old friends may be there and so he thought that he wouldn't see anyone and y'all we went there got in there and one little boy immediately recognized him and he turned around and started laughing and they started hugging each other it's just so cute especially at this age and look <laughs> what is your name redemption songs I'm, I'm gonna pray over you she she low she low now she didn't shade me low key so that's good that you homeschooling your child helpful you know you know i said supplemental <laughs> oh my god i started laughing so hard when i read your comment says i so wish i could do it but i need a break i need a mental break for my child i hate to say that and even admit that but it's because i work from home and he's with me all the time and there's no other adults with me i mean i see my husband for a few hours before he goes to work and it's just us um so i am ecstatic yes i would miss him when he's off to school but i am so glad girl especially last night let me tell you something jb is a horrible sleeper he has always been a horrible sleeper and everyone tells me no it'll get better it'll get better it'll get better when he's um off the breast it'll get better once he starts eating salad it'll, it'll get better once he goes to school he still wakes up at 5 a.m. every morning, regardless of what time I put him down. Last night, he was up between 11 and 3 a.m. in the morning. Yes, you heard that correctly. And it's our fault. I couldn't get mad at him. Um, it's actually, I should blame my husband because they went swimming late in the day. 6 o'clock, they out there swimming. No, not 5. 5 o'clock, they're out there swimming. So, and as soon as he got out, I gave him a bath, fed him. He was out so he slept hard from 6 30 to 11 so he woke up bright i like and I, I got him back down y'all i tried everything i let him get in the bed with us i got in the bed with him i rocked him we looked at his tablet this is off and on from 11 to 3 a.m but he went back to bed he went back to sleep at 3 a.m. and he slept until 7. So that's when I slept. You know, my husband was getting upset, cursing under his breath. And I'm like, you can't get mad at him. He's five years old and he's awake. We can't get mad because it's our fault for letting him go to bed early. So don't get mad at him. Get mad at your damn self. So anyway, y'all, they delivering food this early? It's not. Oh, girl, it's breakfast. Stop it. Oh, they, they, they delivering breakfast? All right, y'all, at the um, post office. Let me turn this thing down because it's already 100 degrees melt off my camera so it's i got 30 minutes to have to pick up jb i'm debating whether or not i should stop at the library i'm not going to do it i'm gonna go ahead and go to the grocery store and go pick him up but look y'all i sent an email to the volunteer coordinator and was basically like i basically said this is not what i expected it to be this is not for me um i wanted to go to another room i'm, I'm willing to go to the to the room above to see if it's a, a little bit better and I, think that, I think that age group is 6 to 10. And if it's still some foolery going on, I just will not be volunteering at the church. It's gotten to a point to where, to where if that's how they treat the children, then I'm not even sure if I want to go to this church, y'all. 
Yeah, it's it's it just doesn't sit well with me how they were treating those kids. So anyway, we are back home, y'all. I'm gonna make me a pre poo because I stopped by Albertsons and cleaned up on that soul free free conditioner. Now look, I did see this at my CVS. I saw. Okay, You're using my camera. I am using your camera, which is technically my camera. I saw that they had two different type of the sulfate free. Again, this is the color treated one, the one I reviewed. But CVS carry both, but they're expensive. They're like almost four dollars at CVS. I got these for two for three dollars. Now it was on sale at my local Albertsons. I only got three, just to be nice. But yeah, I'm gonna make um, a pre poo real quick. Now my local Walmart sells aloe vera, so while I'm there, I will be picking it up. Now this is not something I'm gonna do a lot, and it's sure as hell not something I'm gonna be putting directly onto my hair. But I do not mind picking up a leaf every two weeks to add to my pre poo. So I'm gonna be using aloe vera some yeah. of this conditioner aloe vera mm -hmm. coconut milk that's, that's all. apple cider vinegar is that it yeah, yeah. that's it funny. Mm -hmm. so y'all this made me about good lord almost all this thing of shade of can too sorry and this um allocating actors now i can honestly go through this that's in one sitting you better sing Halfa. Y'all, that is two words. LaWanda Campbell. LaWanda Campbell was a, you talk about as soon as she opens up her mouth, anointed. Uh, she was very blessed. Unfortunately, she passed away a couple of years ago. Listen to some old school gospel music from um, on YouTube. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm turn on my, my, girl, I'm on this old, com old camera. I don't even know where to look at. Girl, do I look there or do I look here? I feel like I'm looking in the wrong area. Y'all, y'all let me know if I'm being an overprotective parent. I just think that it's such at this age, JB is only five years old. Yesterday when I went to go pick him up, one of the other moms who uh her child and JB used to go to the same preschool, right? Let me let down the window. Cause it's already in the it's 88 degrees here. They used to go to the same preschool. So she asked me, she's like, I want to ask you something. Um, are you allowing your child to do field trips? I said no. No, I'm not. Because on Fridays at this summer camp, they bust them all up. And for an additional $5, they can go, you know, whatever, whatever around Phoenix. My thing is, is this. The summer camp is from ages 5 to 12. So there are 9-year-olds there. There are 8-year-olds. There are 7-year-olds. Um, with the overwhelming of the age group being between 7 and 9. Absolutely not. Now, as parents, we could go with them on the field trip. So that beats the purpose of you going to summer school. You're going to summer school so I can get work done. I'm not going to go with you on a field trip. I mean, when he goes to school officially, absolutely I will um, attend the field trips with him, but not for summer camps so anyway, y'all. I was thinking about signing him up for a cooking school, and there's a woman who is in our neighborhood. She runs a cooking school. I was looking at everything. The price was good, $35 for, you know, to cook, and you get to keep the food winning. You know, that's my meal. So... She sends me all the information. I'm reading through it. And then I get to the, to the bottom and it says, you must drop your kids off. I'm like, oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. So she has this long spiel about she feels that children will be distracted if the parents are still there. So she would prefer if you drop the kids off in her home. But to make you feel comfortable, you can come by the week before to tour the house. I don't know you. I don't I am not leaving my five-year-old with some perfect stranger. I don't know you. Never know what could happen. I'm just not going to leave my child over someone's house. If it was a facility, then yeah. And then, you know, she had a couple of attendants, but it's her by herself in a home with eight to ten kids. No, I'm sorry. So, yeah, I'm going to have to think of something else for us to do. So, yeah, no. He starts back karate in the fall time. We... Is this damn gorilla in the mist? Do y'all hear all this? Y'all, I get agitated here easily by noises. As you can see, this damn bird is going the hell off. I hope that he finds his mate soon. So anyway, y'all. So yeah, he will be doing karate in um, the fall time. We kind of let go of that or hold off, held off on that because... You know what this bird is doing? So did y'all hear that? That bird was mimicking car alarms. It sounded just like a car alarm towards the end. 
take you and your talent. This is not uh, America's Got Talent up in here. You need to take your chirping ass somewhere else. Anyway, y'all, <laughs> y'all know I'm crazy. Um, um that in one pan. Mm. It's delicious. Yeah. Something stink, JB. Well, little boys be stinking. Oh, you you need to get a job so you can buy your own deodorant. <laughs> I'm just playing. So you don't need deodorant. It's his feet. If you don't get your feet off the camera, <laughs> he's tired. So y'all, did y'all? Oh, good baby, get that off my breast. This is. You did y'all see the last clip when we we're at the raisin cane? This homeless man came in older older um, black gentleman came in sit right in front of me and basically said excuse me can I can I talk to you I need to talk to someone I need to talk about our people and I, I it was a creepy oh, man. yeah baby I could look in his eyes and tell that he wasn't well you know mentally he wasn't well and I was like oh but I have my child here yeah he was giving me creepy vibes I have, I'm like I have my child here and I'm on my phone so he said okay can I talk to you later I'm like maybe no, poor man. Like, no, y'all, I, I don't talk to people like that. Not like that. Now, honestly, if I was by myself, I maybe would have entertained him, but no. And so... And, and even I saw him on the road. Yeah, so I was like, oh, JB, we need to get, I get our stuff. Because he went up to the counter and got some water and then sat down. As I'm going to the car, I could see off in the distance, he's walking towards a, a popular intersection to get on the 17 out here. And he's a homeless man looking for money. But, girl, he had... He had oh two my. cardboard, poor man, he had two cardboard um, signs, and it had tons of writing on it, y'all. He couldn't even really read it, so he's suffering, suffering some type of mental illness, which is really sad, but this is going to be another long vlog. I hope y'all are enjoying these long vlogs. And TV. Y'all, it is officially Friday. The weekend is here. It has been a oh, girl. Go ahead. With your, good job, baby. Received notification from Canon and they basically were like, sorry, y'all. They basically were like, oh, we don't fix this camera anymore. We don't fix it. So we can replace it for you for $297 with a, with a similar model. Hold on, y'all. Yeah. So, girl, long story short, I'm like, I called them first. The thing this morning was like, send me my camera back, please. Send me my camera back. I have a protector for my screen. 
Now another option would be to replace the screen myself, but no one else can sell it, sell the replacement parts but over in China. China? Yeah, and I'm not know for sure. You know, I'm not know knowing for sure if it's legit. So So y'all anyway, I had to drop JB off. He was a mess this morning. But anyway, girl, just yeah, have to do what I have to do. Um turn down the it's already, what does it say? 93 degrees, 93 degrees. Dang on shame. I am in my feelings about this camera, y'all. And like I said, I'm on my backup camera and the quality is just not all that great. I mean, I said it's a $300 camera. It's not, that was with the bundle. This camera is only um, $200, only. It's still some change. So, hold on, y'all. Um, I am sick to my stomach. So, because the camera now, I either have to I have to buy another camera or use it as is. Now, yes, I know a couple of you are probably thinking, why don't you take it somewhere local? I haven't really looked into that, but what I did do through Canon site, you can see who repairs, um, you can see who repairs cameras through you. And I went through another site called iFixit, plugged in my information. No one fixes it. I mean, hell, Canon doesn't even fix it anymore because they no longer make this particular camera. And I'm like, you know how they always come out with new versions and stuff like that. But this camera was the most popular vlogging camera up until two years ago. So I'm like, why? Why? Yeah. So, y'all, it is what it is. You know, like I, I have a backup. I'll continue to use it once it gets back. I'll continue to use it as is, but I did buy a glass protector to put over it so that the crack at least won't spread. So yeah, I'm salty about it, but anyway. Um, <clears throat> my One of my meetings was canceled to this morning, which is good because it started in like 15 more minutes and I'm not, clearly I'm not prepared, but no, um, canceled and I have another appointment later on. I have to return this dress, y'all. I bought two dresses so far and this cute little, it reminds me, it's, give, it's giving me um, Martha's Vineyard, um, where's my wine um, tees. And so the, the material is very nice, but it's too little. Let me show you what it looks like in the front. I'm going to tell you all about this volunteer heifer. Um, it's clearly designer. It's really, really pretty. The, the fabric is really nice. This is good quality. It's an extra large, right? right? I put it on. Girl, not even close to being an extra large. Now I'm looking at it. I didn't even see this. It's just junior. Yeah, y'all know how I was talking about a couple of a couple of days ago how I went to volunteer at my church and I just didn't like the way the teachers were treating the kids. They were yelling at them and screaming. It was just too much. It was disorganized. It was chaotic. So I emailed one of the volunteer coordinators and was like, "Look, sis." Um, I still want to volunteer for the church, but I don't think this classroom is going to work for me. Too many kids. And plus my own child is in this group and he sees me. He gets sad when he sees me with other kids. I need to move. Is it possible for me to move to the grade level up? She wrote me back. She's like, yeah, that's not a problem. Um, I've CC so-and-so on this, on this email. She would get with you to see about, see about transitioning. The woman writes me. Um, two days later and it was like all right everyone this is clearly a group email right and she's like all right everyone let me know what your availability to put you on the schedule for this class and I'm like uh, where is the training going on <sighs> this is not my first time volunteering you guys I'm one of those type of people that firmly believes in servitude and volunteering I used to volunteer for hospice I started while I was working there and then I um, continued it continue it up until I got pregnant the first time which is that's a long story um and then I also volunteer for a cancer organization I just I volunteer so now that JB is older he's we have a schedule I wanted to get back into doing something so why not volunteer for my church right typically when you volunteer you have a volunteer introductory meeting letting you know what it's about then you have volunteer training when I was volunteering for hospice it was like a week long training it was either a week long or like three days training it was like some intense stuff you had documents you had all this you had to do like tb testing and all. so when i did the volunteer meeting for the church they said okay you have to become a formal member we have to do a background check we'll let you know how all that goes you need to ch attend a membership meeting um and then you'll also need to go through volunteer training and then we will put you on the schedule i didn't go through any of the in, in between I attended the volunteer meeting i did not go through any membership meeting i'm not a formal member you see what I'm saying? I'm not going to volunteer at all.
And I don't feel bad because I feel like in order for you to be successful at volunteering, your heart needs to be in it because you're doing the stuff for free. So, but I did sign up for volunteering through my local uh, library. I went ahead and completed the form yesterday. So hopefully I'll get a response on that. That should be interesting, you guys. I'm excited. To So we are out of the birthday party. It is so hot here. Let me put it on blast and then turn it down so y'all can hear me. Um, I have never seen that many kids at a birthday party. All those kids were at the birthday party. So I asked the mom, I'm like, where are these kids from? And she said that most of the class, JB's old class came, but then they brought their siblings. So most of the people have two or three kids multiply that by 10 yeah there was about 50 people at this birthday party we like this indoor area and so I know when we have JB's birthday party we will we will more than likely have it either here or at Whipley's I really want to have it at Whipley's JB because everyone has their birthday party here and no one has had it at Whipley's I want to have, have it here but Whipley's have the ball pit I low-key want to do it at Whipley's because I can bring in my own cake I wanted to make him his own cake and here you can't you have to have their cake which is still good but still child it's six months away you may change it okay. of these kids Go Whipley. Whipley boom so it's six months away I'm not having it at home now at this age we can have it and I'm the thank God that the people out here at least to the birthday parties I've been to when you invite people they actually show up you know if they don't come if they don't want to come they you know let you know they're not coming so Every birthday party I've been been to so far, when is when they invite classes, I say is about ten plus kids, ten fifty. But this one, oh, this was huge. I know they spent some change on this. One. I have gotten over my issue with my camera. My husband was like, "Got get another one." No, if I was a full time YouTuber, of course, because that's part of my job to having a great vlogging cam camera. I'm just. I'm just a little in my feelings, girl. But that's okay, you guys. There will be more content coming. It may be a little slow for this month until I can, you know, get my stuff back and start back recording. But, yeah, there will be new hair videos coming for the month of July. So, that is it, y'all. Hope you guys enjoy your Sunday and the rest of the weekend. Take care. Bye.